If you're looking for a review video on the HP OfficeShare Pro 7740, then stay tuned. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we got the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. Basically we're gonna be unboxing it, uh, setting it up, and then reviewing it. I'm gonna give you my take on what I think of the spec as well as uh, the performance of the printer. Anything I don't cover in this video, uh, there will be a link in the description below for this printer. Uh, whether you wanna take a look at the specs, uh, some more details, or if you wanna purchase it, uh, that's gonna be available to you. Now there will be three other videos, one of them being a uh, print quality test. We're going to be uh, taking this printer and testing out a bunch of different uh, photos and color pictures. Next we're going to be showing you how to install the ink and then lastly how to repair it. Now, if you already have this printer or a similar printer and it's not printing a certain color, I do sell a product that will help you fix that problem very easily and inexpensively. So I'll go more into that later on in the video. Now those videos you'll be able to find in the description below. I'll put it under other videos and uh, they should be uploaded pretty quickly after this one. All right, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment below. And for support, I'm actually gonna add my Instagram instead of the website. Uh, there is a website, bestprinterstech.com, uh, but to reach me faster, you can go to my Instagram which is uh, Best Printers Tech. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. All right, that's enough of that. We'll go ahead and get started with the unboxing. Okay, so getting started here, you're gonna wanna take off all the blue tape. Uh, now I will say this is a very, very large printer and the box is huge. Um, so you're gonna wanna have a good amount of space to be able to open this guy up. Alright, getting right into it. What is in the box? You're going to have the printer itself, of course. Uh, you're going to have some startup ink and a uh, power cable along with some uh, manuals and some instructions there on uh, how to set up the printer. Okay, so that's really all you're going to need. Uh, at first glance, uh, it's a very large printer. So especially if you have a home office, you're going to want to make sure that you have the space designated for this printer. Okay, and we'll power it on, um, attaching the power cable on the back. Now, I will say, for a printer this size, I'm pretty surprised with um, the, uh, the, you know, the basic power cable, uh, but it worked just fine. Okay, following along with the instructions, we've taken off the blue tape. Now we're going to lift the scanner bed and uh, take off this uh, piece of uh, styrofoam plastic. And, uh, and then we're going to be powering on the printer. Okay, so this piece that's holding the display moves back and forth. That could potentially be very helpful for you. Uh, as well as the display itself being a touch screen and I was very happy to find that out. Okay, here you're just going through some of the settings now for the sake of this video here we're not going to uh, show you how to install the ink however there is a, a link in the description below for the video under other videos uh, where I do show you how to install the ink. So if you wanted to, uh, if you needed additional instructions, that's a resource available to you. Now one of the biggest things with this printer is the wide format, the longer uh, pages that you can fit in here, even in these uh, paper trays. So if you're doing projects where you need legal size paper or larger or wider, this is going to be exactly what you need. Okay. 
So both of these paper trays are very deep, so you're gonna be able to fit in a lot of paper. Um, and so depending on what you're doing, what you're using it for, that could potentially be um, really exactly what you need. Okay, if you uh, have a printer currently that is not printing or um, you know someone that has a printer that they're having issues with specifically that they're not able to print a certain color, uh, stick around. There is a quick ad uh, for the Best Printers Cleaning Kit uh, that is also compatible with this printer. Um, so stay tuned and uh, we'll get back, right back into this video. If you are having issues printing, let me have your attention. There's a way for you to save money by fixing your printer yourself. If you can't print a certain color, your prints are faded, or you can't print at all, the solution is the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. This kit has been used to fix hundreds of printers and has saved consumers hundreds in safe printers and printer ink. This kit is also compatible with most printers. There's a link in the description below. Go ahead and get yours now. We guarantee you will be satisfied with the results or your money back. If you get yours now with Amazon Prime, you can have it within a few days and be back to printing again without spending hundreds. This is the best option. You're just one click away. Okay, so what we're doing at this point is the printer is going to want to print an alignment page. Allow it to do that because that's going to help uh, your print cartridge or a print carriage um, be aligned and uh, it's going to give you better print quality. Okay, so you can see here for yourself all of the uh, options here, the settings. One of the really cool things that this printer has is you can scan onto an email. It'll um, Within the settings, uh, you can get to a point where it'll give you a, um, an email where you can send um, uh, documents to. Uh, that's really, really helpful in an office environment. Uh, you are able to uh, connect to a smartphone or tablet. Uh, you do have two-sided printing uh, uh, copying, scanning, and faxing. And of course you have the uh, wide format 11 by 17 scan bed, uh, an ethernet network, um, as well as an automatic document feeder. So you have a lot of uh, things packed into this printer. It is very large, so it can uh, handle a large capacity, uh, but it does have a lot of the technology, yeah, the top paper tray, um, every, everything you could possibly need in a printer you're gonna have here. You're not gonna go wrong. And the price is unbelievable. If you compare this printer to a printer that I just recently reviewed, which is the one of the Smart Tanks, this printer is absolutely blows it out of the water as far as what it can do. And it's pretty much, now you'll have to check this on your own, but uh, I don't know what about currently when you're watching this, but it's about half the price of that uh, Smart Tank. And if you go back and watch my video, you'll see I was not very happy with the quality and what I was getting for what I paid, which was a substantial amount of money compared to what you're getting here for half the price. I like the design, but of course that's one of the least important things. However, if you're in, a, in an office where you have to be presentable, um, that could be important. Uh, so that's another thing. The, the design here is presentable. It looks nice, uh, so it can sit in a room and uh, not look like a hideous printer. Uh, so that's another plus. Uh, so I, I really, really ended up liking this printer a lot. You've got your USB port here uh, at the very bottom. This printer also does, and I'll say this right now, it does well with photo printing. And uh, you can see that with the print quality uh, test video, which is, uh, again, one, one of the videos that is under other videos. Uh, so it did really well overall with the tests and just in general, the setup, uh, everything. I ended up really liking this printer. And uh, I'm convinced that, that this is an amazing printer as long as you have the space for it because again this is a very large printer as long as you have the space uh, and you have utility for it of course now if you're gonna sit there and print a couple of uh, you know documents per week or less than that uh, maybe not this is for somebody or a group of people uh, working uh, you could even use this for a home office. Let's say you have to print off a lot of reports and you have to scan to an email and you know you got a lot going on. Uh, you're not going to be missing anything with this printer. You're going to have everything that you need.
So I'm going to give this printer a 4.9 out of 5 stars. Excellent. Uh, very presentable. Uh, a lot of utility here. And um, really on the market you can't find anything uh, that really comes close to this as far as what you're paying for and what you are getting. So again, other videos in the description below. There's also a bunch of products in the description below that I have gone through throughout this video. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. And if this video was helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.